Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Scroller Thai Wu. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We are so close to 9,000 subscribers. We are going to hit it very soon, which is absolutely amazing. But anyway, we're going to jump straight back into Tai Wu. I built the Ancestral Hall. Now we're going to find out what the hell that does. With the concerted efforts of you and all the villagers, the Ancestral Hall was finally rebuilt. And with it being rebuilt, the villagers seem to have recovered their courage and hope from the clear smoke of the Ancestral Hall. It's exactly the same as I saw in my dream. After a simple ritual, you climb to the high ground near the village of Taiwu looking down, only to see the village dilapidated, everything in desolation and you can't help but have a thought. Now that I've become Taiwu, I shall be determined to settle here. Let's go! Okay, what do I need? What do I need? Obviously if I choose one of these, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be the first step in my rebuild. Manufacturing tools, build a workshop, be self-sufficient, medicine cabinets, eh, if we die, we die. Culture and education, we have to nurture talent, scriptures and monuments and pagodas, miscellaneous antiques. Okay, okay, this is the tough one. Maybe number four, scriptures, monuments and pagodas. You could use them to worship the gods and buddhas and promote dharma to the people. Do I really want to do that? Are we going Buddhism? Is that what's happening? Nah, screw it. Knowledge music echo desk. Gentleman's stone plate, famous inscriptions. The Book of Rhyme. And it's not even the full bloody version of it, half pages. <sighs> so annoying. The rivers and lakes are dangerous, everything is fierce, and there are Shang Shu ambushes in the dark. I'm new to this place and I don't know where to find my adoptive father. I just hope that this village never has strife and finds happiness. If I can make this my foundation, I'll make the world bow down to me. If I can make everyone live and work in peace and happiness, I'd have nothing more to ask. That's just naive. Weird, we're neutral around these parts. So, dig. After dispatching villages, you can re Oh, okay, so they can go and actually, like, do things. Uh, what can we make, though? You can spend prestige to instruct fellow members of the clan on martial art techniques. Okay. Upgrade, you say? We could upgrade it, too. Not much point, though. Because, you know... Are any of you any good? Polearm 9, Stunt 11. Oh, culinary arts 13, blade 13. Done, you. Do, do something. How do we... How do we... Ah, I have nothing to actually impart onto them. That's fair. So, we've got dorms. But how many... 34 of 34. So, 34 people can live in these dorms? Holy fuck. Why are you dying? What do you mean? What have you done? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Passing away, rest in peace. Alright, yeah, we're definitely going to build another dorm. Oh, we could go residence. Interesting. A Taiwu Academy. Is that for training people? Can learn fine arts by themselves. Yeah, I can't build that. Fair enough. I can't build that either. Unlockable through story reincarnation platform. Well, I wonder what that's for. Shit, that's really expensive as a residence. We're just going to build another dorm. Build! Right there. Oh my god, this is no joke. I must be able to constantly increase the size of this place because there are so many things that I can build. This. Look at this list! Look at this list! Holy fuck! It's so much! What? Okay, we're obviously going to have to go for resource producing things first. It must be built next to stone hills. What's that? Do I have stone hills? Are stone hills simply stones? Is that... Is that what that is? I see Flower Valley Herb Paradise. Maybe they just randomly spawn? Well, I know that I can put it there, 
built next to a poison swamp. We'll put it down here. A mine shaft. Damn, I don't have any stone hills. That is unfortunate. At least we've got more than enough woodlands. So we can at least get trees, medicine, and a toxicology. I'm assuming I'm going to get herb or stuff out of that. Training hall. Yeah, we're definitely going to make a training hall. Oh, it's big. Holy crap, it's big. Okay. Yeah, we'll put it next to there. We're going to have to clear out these areas. That's fine. One thing at a time. A chess room. <laughs> study room. I think I need to make a study room. So, oh my god, it's so big. I'll have to relocate these later. Alright, we're going to let that build. You slowly step into the ancestral hall of Taiwu village. And there are many relics of the previous Taiwu and pieces of clothing. In the middle of the room there's an altar accepting people's offerings. You fix your eyes to look at it, but the center of the altar is still an empty space. I think it should be left to put the most important thing there. So I have to choose the direction in which, like, the village is going to go. Okay. So a wildling, a hunter, a craftsman, a beggar, a civilian, a traveler. Is that it? Hunter, there are many ferocious beasts in the mountains and forests. I should be able to tame them and use them for my own. I mean, I did fight a bear before. That was tough. Hunting bow and hunter clothing. I... Should I have... Should I have got that? What the fuck? She gave birth to a son? What do you mean? After ten months of pregnancy, I finally gave birth to a beautiful and lovely baby boy. The legacy of smiling must be upheld. After a long period of contemplation, you decided to name your child. Smiling! Well, smiling, let's see if we can get that J on there this time. After much contemplation, your child was finally named Monarch Smiling. Until you become Taiwo. You kept smiling and kept whispering the name of your son, feeling nothing more joyful in the world. As long as this child grows up healthy, I need nothing more. And we need to go find this tomb immortal, that's what we need to do. I built everything, but I need to send people. Auto collect. No. Efficiency focus. Result focused. Fast dispatch, there we go. So wood every month is when I get that. Okay, okay, okay. We just have to fill it all up. Holy crap, that's a lot of that's a lot of herbs. Result focused, fast dispatch, auto work is probably a smart thing to click. Alright, let's go find. Holy crap, that's a lot of things. Taiwu Village currently has 15 free villages. Look here. There's building maintenance fees. It's not good. Dispatch. You. Go get them. Find money. <laughs> Find money. What's the most? Wood it is. Alright, let's go see a tomb mortal about my destiny. I literally just spent like half an hour gaming up all of my uh, dudes to collect me things. I need a way to get, you know, to make food and money. I need to make a, like a cooking place and get cooking materials so I can cook and make food. I'm good for it for a while, but there's limits, man. I need, I need money. Building maintenance is making me poor. Although, maybe I can just travel back and forth from this town over here. Holy crap, my man looks done with life. Ah! What do you got? A bull? Yeah. Fuck me, that's expensive. What's wrong with you? You have nothing worth having. No offense, my man. Bro, this T6 book worth 13 grand doesn't even have a page for. Ah! Core materials. This is obviously for building more advanced things. I have some of them because of the choices that I made. I mean, I can't afford to buy these right now. That's just not a thing. I need a place to farm lives. That's what I need. 
After a rainstorm, the trees fell and the earth collapsed. A nameless ancient tomb suddenly revealed this from the slope of Taibu. The people in the vicinity saw the tomb had a peculiar style and ghostly aura, and all of them were respectful but distant. Alright, that's where he is. But first, I just want to see, is there something terrifying? Oh, a tiger. It looks terrifying. It's just unknown. The word king on its forehead. We're going to leave that tiger alone. Jesus Christ. I'm not seeking death. Ah, food. Resource output. Food plus 90. Good enough. Still cost me money though. That's going to be a problem, but at least we're positive there. That's something. We need another way to get prestige as well. One step at a time though. Oh, I can expand the village itself. Hell yeah. Let's do that. It is very expensive. But. It might expand how many slots I have. That would make sense, right? Alright, Tomb of Mortal. Oh, there's going to be fights. Oh, there's going to be fights. This is an ancient tomb from the hillside. Around the tomb door, covered with rock soil. But it looks like it's cut by a knife. Rather as if someone had deliberately dug it out of the ground. Well, we'll find out all the secrets. Now, let's fail every single art check. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. There are patterns on the stone wall of the tomb in groups of seven symbols. Very much like the seven elemental symbols, but drawn upside down. However, unlike the seven elemental symbols, which can enlighten one's mind and bring clarity to one's nature, the patterns on this stone wall keep giving off a feeling of emptiness. Just when you were absorbed in watching it and about to collapse to the ground, a strange cry for help suddenly came from the depths of the tomb. Don't follow into death. What do you mean? What is this? Send companion to open path. Requires astrology attainment 60. Yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> to the ancient immortal! Let's fail more art checks. Standard. God, I bet. Honestly. Come on. Succeed once. Come on. Statistically. Okay, fine. You follow the scream into the depths of the tomb and found a man who called for help in a broken hole in the tomb. The man's been crushed by collapsed debris and half his body is under it. It seems difficult for him to escape. When you see this person's appearance, you can't help but be amazed. The man who called for help is a wooden man. Is it the wooden man from the tutorial? I do believe it is. After hearing your words, the wooden golem looks up, hitting the ground with his hand, and shouts towards you. What the hell do you mean, Thing, I have a name and I'm older than you? You should call me the immortal rather than Thing, impolite. Haven't you seen that I have mystic scripture on my head and the wood from Phoenix Tree is my body? They all belong to immortals. Sorry, I'm just an innocent child. I've never met immortals before. What should I call you? The golem nods and murmurs. Just an uncivilized villager. No wonder that you couldn't recognize me. Then he touches his chin as if stroking his beard, saying, My name cannot be called by you, but when I followed the first emperor of Qin on the journey to the east, everyone called me Shangong. You can call me Shu Shangong. Okay, buddy. You moved away the broken stones pressing down on him and helped him to get up. Very good, very good. Although you boy like nagging very much, you actually managed to remove these divine rocks that were pressing this old man down. You can be considered to be extremely talented. I'm leaving now. If we meet again in the future, I'll definitely reward you well. Is it his tomb? Immortal, do you recognize this hilt? Fu Yu sword, the wooden man said offhandedly as soon as he saw the hilt of the sword. No wonder you're able to remove the stones from this old man's body. So, you know, this sword... Of course I know it. Back in the day there was a man who excelled in swordsmithing. He underwent ten rounds of reincarnation and during each round he forged a sword with his utmost in that life. This Fuyu sword was created in the tenth life. This sword can collect the master's cultivation and power and then pass it on to their descendants. 
so that over generations you can constantly accumulate and there is no end to it. Only this sword can't have two masters in one life, and once the power is passed into the sword, the sword master that will die. It is considered the only flaw. This sword should have kept the power of 17 masters by now, but why does it feel so empty? Seems you have to practice from scratch. With these words, he turns away. Thanks, man. Just crush my hopes and dreams in being strong. The immortal leaves without a trace, leaving you in the tomb only to feel a lot of confusion. That was entirely unhelpful, to be completely honest. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave this short one here. Honestly, the, the most amount of time I've spent is actually just building up the village and removing things. <laughs> I've literally just spent 20 minutes figuring out where I'd want to put shit. But money is really a thing that I need to work on until I start spending my life accumulating martial arts to pass it on to my heir. But things are slowly coming together. I am vaguely understanding the storyline. Live and die, live and die, live and die. That's, that's what I've got so far. So, <laughs> that being said, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day.